Hey, this is Eric Matisoff with Adobe, and I'm here to walk you through just a few of the recent innovations that we have within Analysis Workspace. And they're tied to all of the different items, or at least a few of them, within your Components panel. Now, the Components panel is an easy way to organize a bunch of different, well, components within Adobe Analytics. For instance, one of the ones that we'll be walking through today is a list of your scheduled reports. Now, as a heads up, you can actually click components here, and that will bring you um, directly to this page, which gives you basically that same list that you have within the dropdown, or you can just simply click to select any of them. Now, if I go ahead and choose scheduled projects, I can go ahead and get a feel for each of the different projects that have been scheduled within my um, instance of Adobe Analytics and Analysis Workspace. Here are each of the different projects. You can see I've got one, two, three of them listed. And one of the items that has recently been added is the ability to see expiration date listed here in this component uh, manager. So you can see that this first one will expire next year, June 7th, 2018. The following one is July 31st, 2017, and June 9th, 2017. Now, if you select them, you'll keep it, you've got some other options. You do have the ability to delete them. You can also approve them, tag them, or export them simply to CSV. And of course, if you select them, then you've got even more options for how you um, can edit that schedule whether it just simply be whether it is a CSV or a PDF, when it starts, how often it's sent, what the frequency is, etc. And then you can simply hit update if necessary and those scheduling changes will be made. Another recent addition that we have within your components manager is down here in alerts. Now alerts are a really important feature within analysis workspace in that they're the piece of the virtual analyst powered by Adobe Sensei that keeps you informed of what's going on with your data even when you're not in front of Adobe Analytics or not in front of your laptop. For example, I've got a number of different alerts set up here within Analysis Workspace. And here I can see I've got gear page, I've got purchases, purchase checkout fallout, and zero visits in a month. And each of these, first of all, is taking advantage of this new column, which is showing the expiration date, so these are the expiration dates for the, each of these different alerts. In addition, when I select one, you'll see that I have another column that's also available called Enabled. And that's populated based on whether I've chosen to enable or disable this alert. This can be valuable because um, sometimes you may want to keep the settings for an alert, but you know that it's going to be pinging you a lot during a campaign or um, significant changes on your website. So you can just simply disable rather than completely delete it. And then this column here is going to inform you whether or not each alert is enabled or disabled. Of course, when you create a new alert, it's always going to be set to enabled. If you have a ton of alerts, unlike me within this report suite, you can actually easily filter based on just your enabled or just your disabled alerts as well. A simple way just to filter to what you need. And then finally, of course, if you select um, any of those alerts, you can go in and actually adjust the settings for that alert be in terms of who the recipients are, the time granularity, the name of it, and any of the settings associated with those alerts. That's everything here within um, Adobe Analytics that we've just updated for these components. I hope you find the valuable. Enjoy!